guys, it's Wes back with Auto Mafia Racing, and today we have a Nissan 370Z. That's right, a VQ motor. It's another V6. So we're going to be putting this thing on the dyno today, and we'll see what kind of power it makes. It sounds pretty good right now. We're also going to be installing some cat delete pipes, and we'll see how that sound changes. So right now, we're going to go ahead and do a cold start. We're going to get a few revs, and we'll do a few drive-bys so you can see how it sounds. And then we're going to compare it to after we do the cat delete and see how much different that sound actually is. still on, in car, window down. So not, not a bad sound guys, not at all. I think it's definitely gonna get a lot rowdier. So let's see what it sounds like with the windows up. Um, we'll just do another quick little pull. I do like the rev matching feature, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty sweet. So far, I'm liking this car, guys. All right, so let's just do a little pull here. So, it's still a pretty good, pretty, I'm not gonna call it mellow, but it's a pretty good sound, even when, you know, the windows are up with, um, the cat's still on, so I think it's gonna get a lot rowdier, but we'll see here in a little while. So this is the exhaust system that the guy has. It is a just muffler delete, and what I'm assuming was a resonator delete right here, into the stock, I guess we'll call that an X-pipe, or it's more like a double Y-pipe, in my mind at least, it's like a double Y-pipe, into stock cats, and if you can hear these, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they're like tinkling and making all sorts of weird noises. So what we have are, whoop, we're gonna go that way. We have these. So that part right there is gonna basically replace that whole weird long angled cat. So pretty much guys, the car's super hot right now. I think his cats might be on the way out or already kind of clogged. So Cody and I are going to put the car on the dyno. We'll see what it makes with no tune on it. And then we're going to swap these and make it catless and then we'll tune it again. And we'll see just how much power that our Auto Mafia Racing tune on this VQ can make. Here we go guys. We got her strapped up, ready to make the first pull. This is no tune. Just deleting the mufflers and resonators off the car. Let's see what she can do. So not bad guys, the car made 288 horsepower, 241 foot-pounds of torque on SAE. Um, that was an unloaded dyno run, but it, it looks pretty good. I mean, that's a real healthy torque curve for sure, over 200, and it just caught, like climbs pretty steadily. It does have a kind of funky dip at about 5,500, and then it keeps climbing. But uh, yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. I think we can probably gain something for sure with the tune, but uh, yeah. 
So I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed by it. I mean, 288, I'll, I'm really gonna compare it to the 37 Mustang, right? So 288 for basically just some exhaust work done, no headers, still has the cats. That's a really healthy number. Um, for these cars, anywhere in the low 300 seems to be like a really good naturally aspirated number. So with, again, not really a lot of mods, I'm hoping once we tune it to be around the 300 to 320 mark, you know, that would be a 10 to 20% gain in horsepower. That's going to be my goal, but it's a pretty healthy car. I mean, it pulled through pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, excited to see what we can do with it. So right now, guys, we're ripping the tune off the car so that we can go ahead and start editing it. But uh, I'm hoping that we can get like 320 out of it. So under the car, guys, we got, we got this far. Um, these are a pain, I tell you what. Basically because you got studs on all these, right? And there's three, and that one you have to get from the top. So when we replace them, we just replace them with bolts and nuts. And replacing them is much easier. Now that we got that on, these are going to be good, and the car is probably going to be way louder. Because obviously we replaced that. So We're just going to bolt the, the double Y pipe slash X pipe back on and reinstall the O2 in sensors, and then he's good to go. So we just got done installing that cat delete, the mid pipes basically. Now he does need to get a real after cat or a cat back exhaust system. Cause right now it's like a two and a half inch that gets down to like a one and a half or whatever the stock pipes are. It's a really big cut down. So it's probably gonna sound pretty interesting. We're gonna give you guys the sound of the first cold startup on this setup. We'll check for exhaust leaks. I don't think we'll have any. We used all brand new gaskets, but let's see what it sounds like. like that. Let's see if it'll do it again. We haven't done any tuning yet to the car. popcorn, whatever you want to call it, we'll make it do that. It'll be one of those really annoying VQs that everybody knows what they are around here. So let's get to it. It's going to sound different. So I have been sitting here for, I don't know, an hour or two hours trying to get a tune loaded on this car. Probably an hour. An hour. Sending us a, an email to support from HP Tuners because, I mean, those guys are awesome. They always help. And... The response I get back, you know, it took them an hour, no big deal, that's pretty fast actually, really good response time, love these guys, but is, you know, read this file, so I look at it and it says that these cars are very, um, picky, these Nissans are very anal about their voltage, so I have the car on a charger, that's fine, but you'll never guess, so I turn the lights off, the air conditioning knob was on low, because the fan was running, it wouldn't take a tune, are you kidding me? The fan, the AC was on, and so it wouldn't write a tune? What the crap, Nissan? But, hey, tune looks like it wrote, so let's try and make some power. There you go. That's just at idle. wheel horsepower and about 259 foot pounds of torque which is pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it it really doesn't have any mods but the thing is loud now 
very loud. So take a listen. We'll go do a rip, and you guys can compare the side-by-side -side, uh, sound differences. But here's the startup. First startup, guys. See what he thinks. So we're gonna go for a ride, guys. He's gonna see how he likes it. See the differences. We'll go easy on it. Alright guys, so we got Seth back here. He just drove his uh, 370 after getting it tuned and us installing the exhaust on it. What do you think, man? It's crazy. Insanely loud. Can't <laughs> yeah. believe how loud it is. It's, it's so loud. What would you think of the power it increase? It definitely feels like it's faster. It has more torque to it. Yeah, it definitely gained a lot. Um, these cars are, are kind of weird when it comes to tuning, but we were still able to get some stuff out of it. It gained more power, gained more uh, torque and it's just smoother overall and the delivery of it is a lot different and a lot smoother so i think he's gonna have a lot of fun with it thanks for watching guys thanks for bringing us the car we look forward to doing more three sevens whether it's a v6 a 370 a 350z whatever we'll get it done bring it to us so that is it guys we're done we're gonna get this car out of here back to the owner so he can go rip up the streets race some mustangs put them in their place do whatever these VQ guys do. I, I don't really know, but I had a lot of fun with this one. The 370 Nissan is pretty awesome. 305 horsepower, 259 foot-pounds of torque. We'll catch you next time. Make sure to like this video, guys, so we can make some more for you. And we'll catch you next time.